Hello guys, we are going to do the, the RAM management overview now for this uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge running Android 601 as you can see no, definitely not battery info, you can see here games we are going to use are Asphalt 8, FIFA 2016 and need for speed, no limits. I hope that's good enough, quite heavy games. So let's start with the need for speed, just to see the loading times, is it lagging, is it playable at all? I really hate first runs, takes really long time and you have all unnecessary messages and questions and tips and so on and so on. A bit. And then let's play. Really? If you, by the way, if you want to turn left, you need to press left side of the screen. That's amazing. I'm still wondering why they are doing these tutorials. They are like for complete idiots. Of course, if I want to turn left, I'm going to press the left side or just tilt the phone to the left. Okay, so I want to leave it right here. And I want to run the FIFA 2016 UT and I'll try to play a quick game while the Need for Speed game is running in the background. EA Sports. Yay! Time to continue connecting PA servers and so on and so on. Play! Play! I said, play, play now, run the game, continue, continue, play match, finally. Okay, so let's see. Loading, looks like it's frozen, oh no, it's not. That's what I hate, waiting times. I mean, when you buy an expensive device, you expect the waiting times to be really short. Okay, so let's see. Sprint, sprint, run for your life. Okay, pass the ball, looks okay. Let's minimize it right here. And then we want to play some car racing game, but not need for speed. I think Svart is good enough. Middle music. Uh, why is that important at all? Okay, I'm male and I'm 98. I don't care about this. Yes, I just want to play a quick race. No, I don't want to play a quick tutorial. I know how to play this game. Downloading some data. I need there. Cool! First one of this game and we have an amazing app. Amazing app that we had to watch. Amazing application, yeah. Can I play now, please? Oh, it's still downloading data. How cool is that? Okay, let's go back to... To... What? Need for speed. And the app is suspended. That is not good. I was in the middle of a race. Let's see what's happening with my FIFA game because I was in the middle of a game there. Uh, resume match. Okay. This one is not suspended. That's good. But it's terribly slow and it's wagging really bad is it going to recover nope mm. okay the game was not suspended <laughs> but 
when it's resumed you cannot actually play it oh, I think it's get up to speed, yeah, so you need to wait a bit mm, okay, I guess it's better than to be suspended and start it over again, but there is still something else that's not quite there yet okay, let's check what's happening with the asphalt, is it downloaded yet or we have to see another ad okay yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, just start doing this. So I have three really heavy apps running in the background. Well, actually two on the background and one I'm playing right now. And so far we discovered that the need for speed was suspended after just probably 30 seconds in being in the background. We'll play a bit with the Svalk and we'll check what's happening with the FIFA. Okay, enough was fault. I want to see what's happening with my FIFA. Is it still there or it's suspended? No, it's still there. Can I play it straight away? Yeah, so first time when I resumed the app it was really slow. It was swagging so it was unable to be played. But now looks okay. Let's go back to Need for Speed. No. Come on. I'm going to start over again, just from the beginning. Please don't. It's taking quite a long time to vote this time. It's taking even longer to vote from suspended mode than just to start it cold. Hmm, that's strange. Oh, come on. Oh, it's really slow, I don't know why. Yeah, so it didn't save any progress and it starts from the beginning. I'll do a few meters and then... Let's switch back to asphalt. Nope! game is suspended so I'm not sure if that is that no oh. actually all the games put it in the background oh this just proved me wrong not all the asphalt was suspended the need for speed was completely stopped and no progress was saved let's find out the FIFA Start from the beginning. Not good. Not good. Let's see up transitions. While we're on this topic, like we're going to open maps. Considering it as a heavy map. Well, it's not really heavy application, but it still use a lot of stuff, almost all your hardware, like GPS, navigation, your internet connection, and so on and so on. And then just minimize it and find out what's happening here, for example. Is it still loading? Yes. Okay, up transitions. Animation, I think it's still the same. A bit waggy. It doesn't look natural, at least for me. I'm not sure if that answers your question about RAM management. But I don't like it because my apps were suspended and I need to start them all over again. So if you're going to use heavy apps, it's not quite there yet. Let's try it again, close it all, and just open the asphalt game, see the loading times, and then when this one is loaded, we're going to open the, the FIFA, and we'll just try to switch between two. Okay. And again, advertisement, okay, that's awful. While the ad is going, we're going to open the FIFA. 
see the loading times. So um, I think I think the, the film was suspended like a few more seconds were well, was still running on the background and then was stopped. So that's a bit better than before, but it's not quite enough because you need to be really quick when you're switching between the apps and that's not the idea. Loading times are faster on second run. Yeah, definitely faster. Let's start the game and then go back to our racing. Come on! Begin the match. Okay, while the game is loading, we're going to check what's happening with our racing. And FIFA has stopped. That's second time. So we're going to report this. Because it's an obvious problem. And the video is cancelled. We don't want to watch it. Mm, I'm really not sure if that answers your question. But for me it's clear that RAM management issue is not solved yet. It works a bit better now. But not, not enough. Not enough. We want more. We want our apps to be running on the background. Not just staying there as stopped applications. I think we're going to make a um, separate video because this one, oh, it's already 12 minutes. Separate video for benchmark software and just to compare results with the previous versions of because those two apps were updated recently and Android is based on this device. I hope you enjoy this video even though the RAM management issue is not solved. And if you want more tests, just put it in the comment section. If you have any feedback, just put it there as well. And that's it, I guess. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.